This video will cover the Fillet Tool and Chamfer Tool. These two tools create features that will appear in the Design Explorer. Both tools need to be used out of sketch mode. You do not need to originally have a sketch. Fillets are rounded edges, and chamfers are straight cuts across edges. To use these features, click on the fillet or chamfer icon in the Geometry Transform box on the Part Modeling ribbon and select the model edges, vertices, or face you want to change. If a face of a part is selected, all of the edges that make up the face will be filleted or chamfered. When there are entities populated in the dialog box, the preview of the change will be viewable in the workspace. Here's how this works with a fillet. And here's how it works with a chamfer. The Tangent Propagate option allows the features to fillet or chamfer along tangent edges. If this option is unchecked, these tools will only be used on the edge that was selected. Here's a 1 quarter inch fillet being applied without the Tangent Propagate option. The same fillet is applied again here, but this time the Tangent Propagate option is on so you can see the difference. Fillets can either be constant throughout the feature or they can be variable. With this option selected, you will have to enter in the beginning and ending radius for the fillet. Here is a variable fillet with an eighth inch starting radius and a half inch ending radius with the propagate option on. You can see a preview of the fillet as you adjust the values. You can select three different types of chamfer to give you the required shape. The first one is the equal distance type, which simply creates a 45 degree chamfer with the user specified distance, as seen here. The second one is the angle distance type. Just provide the chamfer angle and a distance. And the distance distance type is the third one. We used a quarter inch and half inch for this one. A vertex of a model can also be chamfered. Click on the small down arrow at the chamfer icon and select chamfer vertex to open the dialog. This works the same way as the distance distance chamfer demonstrated a moment ago, except in this case you have three distances to input instead of two. Here again you can see the preview change as you enter different values so you know what the result will look like. This video covered the fillet tool and chamfer tool. You learned how to access and use these tools and apply the various options in the process. Both tools need to be used outside of sketch mode. You do not need to originally have a sketch. The Tangent Propagate option allows the features to fillet or chamfer along tangent edges. If a face of a part is selected, all of the edges that make up the face will be filleted or chamfered.